Hey guys, we're going to review rounding with decimals right now. So when rounding, we use the same rules with decimals as if it's with whole numbers. So you remember this little poem. Locate your number, look right next door, five or higher, add one more, four or lower, just ignore. So that lets us know that we're going to identify where our number is located, which makes it so important that we really, really remember our place values. So let's review these really fast. Right now, we're just going to focus on our decimals. And for fifth grade, we do not go to ten thousandths, so don't worry about that. We only go to the thousandths. So remember, right behind the decimals are tenths, right next to there is the hundredths, and then next door is the thousandths. So tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Okay, let's go practice some rounding. All right, so we're back here. I'm going to roll the dice, and we're going to work with our first number right here. Right now, this number says 15 and 553 thousandths. So let's roll, and we're going to round this one to the nearest whole number. So when it says whole number, what it's really looking for on the place value, on I will pull up my page again, is your ones. Your ones are that first uh, place value that is in your whole numbers. So we have our ones right here, and that is, I'm going to underline, our five. So I've located my number, check. I've underlined it. Now I'm going to look right next door. If you don't know what direction to look, it even tells you right. I went to the right. Now if it is five or higher, add one more. Four or lower, just ignore. So this says five, I go higher and my number will become 16. Remember, anything before the number you've underlined gets put back in place if it's in the whole number, and then everything following what you've round to, rounded to, you just zero out or you leave a lot. So you could even write it this way, 0. 0.0. That is the same as saying just 16. All right, let's try another one. I'm going to try and make it more difficult for us than doing another whole number. All right, great. Hundredths. So we'll go with our number right here. I'm going to get my marker out. So if we go back, we can see one, two place values after the decimal is our hundredths. So here's my decimal, one, two. There's my hundredths. I'm going to look right next door. I have a two. Two is four or lower. So I'm going to just ignore. That means my number will become, and sorry about this equal sign, it's not equal. It's just what we're changing it to by rounding. So back to this number, it will be 4.87. That one we rounded down, or we ignored, and this one rounded up. So we added one more. For the next one, I'm going to roll the dice, and then we're going to do this number right here. All right, it's the hundredths again. I want you to take a minute to pause this video and see if you can figure this one out before I show you how to do it. All right. I'm going to get started, so I hope if you are playing again that you are ready to go. So hundredths, we have our tenths, we have our hundredths right here. So that's my eight. I'm going to look right next door, and I have a four. So four or lower, just ignore. So now I'm going to have to write everything again before the eight. So I have three, six, two, or 362. And then my decimal point, my zero, and now this is the place I am changing or leaving alone. So since it's a four, we said ignore. So that means our eight comes back, we ignore it, we leave it alone, and we get rid of this and we don't add it in. If you'd like to practice, I'm about to do one last one on this video. So let's roll our dice. Hundreds again. All right, let me get my marker. So we're going to do it on 491 and 87 hundredths. So my, my 7 is my hundredths. 
Now here's our turkey part. There's nothing next door. So what number is the um, number that means nothing? Well, it's zero. We actually don't need to round this one to the hundredths because it's already there.